Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given exponential equation as you can see over here. So we got 2 power 2x minus 3 plus 2 power x minus 2 equals to 10. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And if we look at this given equation, we have to manipulate this one in order to solve for x. So here's the very first thing we are going to do. I can write this one 2 power 2x minus 3 as 2 power 2x times 2 power negative 3. And now let's focus on this exponent x minus 2. I have just copied it down over here and I am going to manipulate this one over here. I can write this thing x minus 2. I'm going to add 1 and subtract 1 at the same time. That won't make any difference whatsoever. And now I can just simply combine these one. I can write x plus 1 and then negative 2 and negative 1 makes negative 3. So we could see that x minus 2 could be written as x plus 1 minus 3. So therefore this second term could be written as plus 2 power x plus 1 times 2 power negative 3 equals to 10. And now in this next step, let's focus on 2 power negative 3 and I have just copied it down over here and we can see that our exponent is negative 3. We can make it a positive exponent if we can bring it down. So I can write 1 over 2 power this positive 3. So therefore our this equation is going to become 2 power 2x times 1 over 2 power 3 plus 2 power x plus 1 times 1 over 2 power 3 equals to 10. And now we can see that 2 power 3 is same as 8. Likewise, this 2 power 3 is 8 as well. And now we want to remove these fractions and we can see our denominator is 8 and 8. So therefore I am going to multiply by 8 across the board with each and every term. So this is going to now 8 and 8 cancel each other out. This 8 and 8 is gone. So we ended up with 2 power 2x plus 2 power x plus 1 equals to 10 times 8 makes 80. And now here's the next step. 2 power 2x could be written as 2 power x times 2 power x plus 2 power x plus 1 could be written as 2 power x times 2 power 1 equal to 80. And now we can see that we have a 2 power x and 2 power x. They are in common. So I can factor them out. So therefore I can write 2 power x outside. 2 power x plus 2 power 1 equal to 80. Now in this next step, let's look at this 2 power x and 2 power x. So let's go ahead and make a substitution. Let me go ahead and make let u equals to 2 power x to make things simple. So our this equation is going to become simply u times u plus 2 equals to 80. Let's go ahead and distribute this thing. This could be written as u square plus 2u equals to 80. Let's go ahead and move this 80 on the left hand side. So we got u square plus 2u minus 80 equal to 0. And now we can see this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by factoring. 
And here I have copied down this quadratic equation as we are running out of space on the left hand side. So we can factor this one out by just simply putting two parentheses and we are set it equal to zero. So this is going to become u minus eight and this is u plus 10. Now let's go ahead and uh, split, separate these two factors. I can write uh, u minus 8 equal to 0 or the other side u plus 10 equal to 0. On this side u minus 8 equal to 0 means that u turns out to be positive 8 and on this side u is equal to negative 10 that is another solution and we know that u was equal to 2 power x at the very first place so let's go ahead and replace u by 2 power x equal to 8 and now we know that 8 could be written as 2 power 3 and on the left hand side we got 2 power x now we can see that our bases on the both side are same so that means we can equate our exponents so thus our x value turns out to be positive 3 and now let's focus on this u equals to negative 10 and we know that u once again is equal to 2 power x so this could be written as 2 power x equal to negative 10. Now we can see that this is a false statement because we know that 2 power x is an exponential equation and we, this cannot be negative. So therefore we are going to reject this scenario. So we got our x equal to 3 as only solution. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and check at x equal to 3 whether this is a solution. So wherever we see x, I am going to replace it by 3. So the left hand side could be written as 2 power 2 times 3 is become 6 minus 3 plus 2 power 3 minus 2. And the question mark is whether this is equal to the right hand side and we know 2 power 3 is 8 plus 2 power 1 is 2 question mark is it equal to 10 so we can see 10 equal to 10 that means this is true statement so thus x equal to 3 is our only solution thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye